आज हम देखेंगे बेसिक एमसीक्यूज ऑन अमल कमीशन एब्सॉर्प्शन एंड एक्सटर्नल रिकंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ कंपनीज फॉर बीकॉम बैफ बीएमएस बीबीआई बीएफएम आईपीसीसी एंड सीएमए तो स्टार्ट करेंगे बेसिक एमसीक्यूज ऑन अमल कमीशन एब्सॉर्प्शन एक्सटर्नल रिकंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ कंपनीज फर्स्ट इफ the abc limited and bef limited are taken over by a new company xyz limited dash it is called absorption it is called amalgamation it is called external reconstruction it is called internal reconstruction if the abc limited and bef limited are taken over by new company XYZ Limited, it is called as amalgamation. Answer P. जब दो कंपनी एक साथ आके एक नया कंपनी चालू होता है तो उसे हम अमलगमेशन बोलते हैं Second, when the merger involves liquidation of two existing companies and formation of one new company it is called dash internal reconstruction absorption external reconstruction amalgamation when the merger involves liquidation of two existing companies and formation of one new company it is called amalgamation answer t jab do company लिक्विडेट हो चुके एक नया कंपनी चालू होता है तो उसे हम अमल कमीशन बोलते हैं accounting standard 14 answer c four accounting for amalgamation by way of merger is governed by accounting standard 1 accounting standard 13 accounting standard 14 none of the above accounting for amalgamation by way of Merger is governed by Accounting Standard 14, Answer C. Amalgamation, absorption, and external reconstruction. Today, Accounting Standard 14 applies. Right? So, Answer C. Accounting Standard 14. Fifth, according to AS 14, transferring company means the company dash. which is amalgamated into another company into which a company is amalgamated which is liquidated none of the above according to as 14 accounting standard 14 transferring company means the company into which a company is amalgamated answer b Six on amalgamation preliminary expenses account appearing on asset side of the balance sheet of the vendor company dash is closed by debit to realization account is closed by debit to equity shareholders account is closed by debit to profit and loss account is closed by credit to equity shareholders on amalgamation preliminary expenses account appearing on asset side of the balance sheet of the vendor company is closed by debit to equity shareholders account answer b jo preliminary expenses hota hai wo hum transfer karte hain equity shareholders account ke debit side mein to answer Seven. 
on amalgamation profit and loss account debit balance of the vendor company dash is closed by debit to realization account is closed by debit to equity shareholders account is closed by credit to equity shareholders account is closed by credit to realization account on amalgamation profit and loss account debit balance of the vendor company is closed by debit to equity shareholders account answer b profit and loss account ka jo debit balance hota hai wo hum transfer karte hain equity shareholders account ke debit side mein to answer b eight on amalgamation profit and fund account appearing on the liability side in the balance sheet of the vendor company dash is closed by credit to purchasing company account is closed by credit to realization account is closed by credit to equity shareholders account is closed by debit to realization account on amalgamation profit and fund account appearing on liability side in the balance sheet of the vendor company is closed by credit to realization account answer b nine on amalgamation if preferred shares are stated at a premium the premium is credited to realization account the premium is debited to realization account the premium is credited to securities premium account premium is debited to capital reserve account on amalgamation if preference shares are settled at a premium the premium is debited to realization account answer b 10 dissolution expenses paid and borne by purchasing company are debited in its books to dash account realization account bank account goodwill account none of the above dissolution expenses paid and borne by the purchasing company are debited in its books to goodwill account answer c Eleven, value of shares based on aggregate value of net assets is known as the dash value of shares, intrinsic, net payment, net assets, none of the above. Value of shares based on aggregate value of net assets is known as the intrinsic value of shares. answer a well in merger shareholders holding not less than dash percentage of the face value of the equity share capital in the vendor company become equity shareholders in the purchasing company 51% 75% 90% none of the above in merger shareholders holding not less than 90% of the face value of the equity share capital in the vendor company become equity shareholders in the purchasing company answer 90% c 12 13 when amalgamation is in the nature of merger the accounting method to be followed is dash equity method purchase method pooling of interest method 
none of the above. When amalgamation is in the nature of merger, the accounting method to be followed is pulling of interest method. Answer C. इसे हम intrinsic value method भी बोलते हैं. तो answer intrinsic value method या फिर pulling of interest method. Fourteen. Under purchase method, any excess of the amount. of purchase consideration over the net acquired assets of the transferor company should be recognized as capital reserve would be profit and loss account none of the above under purchase method any excess of the amount of purchase consideration over the net acquired assets of the transferor company should be recognized as would be answer b would be fifteen loss or profit on realization account is transferred by the transferor company under amalgamation to dash preference shareholders account equity shareholders account profit and loss appropriation account none of the above loss or profit on realization account is transferred by the transferor company under amalgamation to equity shareholders account answer b equity shareholders account. thank you share करो सब्सक्राइब करो एंड लाइक करो